Example 15, so we need to differentiate this natural log of x times x squared plus 1 squared all over the square root of 2x cubed minus 1. So we already went through the properties of natural logs and how to expand a natural log. That's going to be the easiest way to differentiate this function. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use the properties of logs to um, expand this. So notice here, right here, these two functions are being multiplied by each other. So we can use the product rule and write this as a sum of natural logs. Next, these two are being divided by that function. So then I can use the quotient rule and subtract the natural log of 2x cubed minus 1. And I'm going to write this as a power instead of a radical. So now I have this. The next thing that I can do, these brackets are pretty much irrelevant here. They don't really change the problem. Um, notice that this power here and there, I can use the power rule for natural logs. So I can write this as 2 times the natural log of x squared plus 1 minus 1 half the natural log of 2x cubed minus 1. Now it's expanded as much as possible. The next thing that I can do, I can differentiate. So remember the rule to find the derivative of the natural log of u, again where u is any function of x, is u prime over u. So I'm going to identify u for each one of these natural logs and then just apply u prime, which is the derivative of u, all over u. So f prime of x, here u is x, the derivative of x is 1, and u would be x, plus 2 times, so that's the constant, u is x squared plus 1, so if I take the derivative of x squared plus 1, that's going to be 2x, all over u, which is x squared plus 1, minus 1 half, that's the constant, Again, u prime over u, u is 2x cubed minus 1. If I take the derivative of 2x cubed minus 1, that's going to be 6x cubed, all over u, which is 2x cubed minus 1. Now all i got to do is simplify this a bit, and I'm done. So this would just be 1 over x. Here you can take 2, multiply it by 2x, and get 4x, all over x cubed plus 1 minus 2 goes into 6 3 times, so this would be 3x squared all over 2x cubed minus 1. This would be the answer for this one. The hardest part, what gets most students, is expanding this. So this is something you definitely want to practice. Okay, so let's look at some more derivative rules here. Derivatives for bases other than e. Let a be a positive real number. So a is some constant, okay, as long as a isn't 1. And let u be a differentiable function of x. So basically u can be any function in terms of x. So if I take the derivative of a to the x, okay, a to the x, think of this as being 3 to the x power, okay. That is going to be the natural log of a, so that's just a constant times um, a to the x power. This one is very similar. It's more powerful. It's the one you want, really want to memorize. The derivative of a to the u with respect to x is going to be the natural log of a times a to the u du dx. You can think of this as being the natural log of a a to the u, and then du dx is then just taking the derivative of u. All right, number three. Um, if we're taking the derivative of log base a of x with respect to x, the rule is going to be 1 over the natural log of a times x. All right, 
4 is very similar to 3. This is the one, again, you're going to really want to memorize. This is the derivative of the log base a of u, where u is any function of x with respect to x. The rule would be 1 over the natural log of a times u du dx, where du dx, again, all that is saying is the derivative of u with respect to x, which is u prime. Let's go through a couple of these proofs. So let's prove the first one. We want to prove that the derivative of a to the x with respect to x is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you we're going to let a to the x equal e to the natural log of a times x. I want to show you that that is the same thing, right? Um, because we're going to use that for the proof. So notice, um, notice, if we just say y equals e to the natural log of a of x, right? I'm just saying, I'm just stating that let's let this equal y and see if we can figure this out. Okay, now this, now what I could do here, I could just take the natural log of both sides of this function. And now on this side, this is just going to be the power property for natural log. So I can write this as the natural log of a of x times the natural log of e. I'm just putting that, I'm just multiplying that in front of that natural log. Well, we should know that the natural log of e is just 1. So now I have the natural log of a times x. And I can think of the natural log of a of, a of x as just being x times the natural log of a. So the natural log of y equals the natural log of a to the x, right? That's just the power property again. And then since you have the natural log of y equals the natural log of a to the x, these natural logs, um, we can conclude that just y would equal a to the x, which is proving this. Okay, so now that I've proved that, I want to take the derivative of e to the natural log of a of x dx. This is how I'm going to prove that the derivative of a to the x with respect to x is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. So here, if I asked you to, if I asked you to take the derivative of e to the 3x with respect to x, you would say e to the 3x, and then you would take the derivative of u, which is 3x, which would be 3. So this would be 3e to the 3x. This problem up here is very similar. This, a, this natural log of a, this is just a constant. Okay, remember a is some constant. So if you take the natural log of a constant, it's still going to be a constant. So this would be e to the natural log of a of x, and then you take the derivative of this, which would be the natural log of a. And then we already know that this, this e to the natural log of a of x, is a to the x. So this is equal to a to the x times the natural log of a, which is the proof. The order here is reversed, but it doesn't matter because it's multiplication. All right, let's prove this one. 
So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to let log base a of x equal log x over log of a. That's just change of base, which is the same thing as natural log of x over natural log of a. And remember, natural log of a, that's just a constant. So I'm going to factor the constant out in front times the natural log of x. So to do the proof, I'm going to take the derivative of 1 over the natural log of a times the natural log of x with respect to x, which is the same thing as this function. So now, before we do this one, let's, let's try to take the derivative of 3 natural log of x with respect to x. So the constant would go out in front, and then we would take the derivative of the natural log of x, which would be 1 over x. So then you would have your answer. This is the same thing. Here's the constant, 1 over the natural log of a. And then you take the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x which you get 1 over the natural log of a times x. Same thing.